Hello everybody and welcome back to my Character Crusade Unbound Season 3 Let's Play featuring Blodius Vigilus, the Blue Sentry, and a horse's ass. Uh, I framed that uh, introduction a little poorly, but uh, okay, so what happened last episode? Well, we made it to Whiterun. Uh, we let the Jarl know that Riverwood needed some help, uh, needed some protection uh, in case uh, a dragon um, decided to make its way down there and uh, burn the place to the ground. Um, <clears throat> and then he also offered us a job with the court wizard, uh, Ferengar, uh, who wants us to go into Bleak Falls Barrow um, on the other side of this mountain up here um, near Riverwood to fetch uh, an old stone tablet. Um, but we have our mind pretty much set on joining the Imperial Le Legion um, in an attempt to strengthen the Empire uh, by way of squashing the Stormcloak Rebellion. And it looks like we got a wolf here to deal with. No problem. All right, Marion. That looks like a nice house. Hopefully we'll be able to find something like that for uh, Blodius to live in at some point. Um, <clears throat> we're trying to unite Skyrim under the Legion to help strengthen the Legion uh, in an attempt to um, bolster its ranks against the Thalmor for uh, whatever next uh, conflict is uh, in the winds uh, between human and elven kind, particularly the Thalmor. Uh, speaking of the Thalmor, who do we have here? Ooh, okay. So it's just about everything that Blodius can do not to uh, wipe these elven bigots off the face of the earth, but we still have um, we still have a, a blessing of Julianos on us, <laughs> the uh, deity of wisdom. So we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to bide our time uh, on that front before we start openly attacking Thalmor agents. Um, first things first, let's uh, let's join up with the Legion, see what we can do to help them out, and then we'll see where to go from there. Um, let's see, am I going the right way here? Yes, I am. Uh, looks like we'll want to take a right at the fort coming up here, though. Um, we were able to get, um, directions to solitude from the, uh, carriage driver outside of Whiterun. So that's good. Um, Hadvar back in Riverwood just, uh, suggested taking the, um, taking the carriage there from Whiterun. Hello. There are dragons about, Traveler. Be warned. Oh, I know. I was at Helgen. Then you've seen them too. Oh, no. Where did these wolves come from? So rude. I was in the middle of a conversation and those wolves just decided to attack me for no reason. <laughs> uh alright. Hey. There are dragons about, traveler. Be warned. Then you've seen them too. We lost our home, our livestock. Ugh. We barely have enough gold to get by. That's terrible. Here, here's a few gold pieces. Um, if you need more, uh, let me know. Thank you, traveler. Be safe, and don't forget to keep an eye on the sky. For sure. Uh, good luck. Mm, we need to get out of here before the Thalmor even speak to us, because we might take a mace to the side of their head. Okay. So 
so yes, on our way to uh, Solitude now. Um, still late in the afternoon, early evening. I still think that we'll have time to get to Solitude before um, night falls, if we can... I was just going to say, if we can help from getting uh, waylaid by um, wolves on the way. Ugh, vermin. Maybe we should have taken the carriage after all. Um... I would think that Blodius wouldn't see the point in um, hiring a carriage to take him to Solitude. Uh, he wants to take this opportunity to get the lay of the land anyway. Um, okay, hopefully those were far enough away that we don't have to deal with them. Um, he also likes to take the opportunity to help out where and whenever he can on his way, as he did with the farmer and his wife. Uh, lending him some gold, um, and just trying to get any any kind of news on the happenings of what's what's going on around here. Plus, we get to take in the scenery. Yeah, once you're in the carriage, you're kind of you're kind of locked in. Um, I guess it's the most immersive form of fast travel that we have. Uh oh. That is no wolf, that is a saber cat. Might give us some trouble, but I don't know. Hopefully it power attacks me here and I can, I can show off one of my favorite perks in the block tree. Hey, ignore the rabbit. Come after me. Here we go. Ah. Oh, I don't know why he's doing a regular... Okay, so... Um, if your opponent is power attacking, and you do a uh, power bash uh, in the midst of that power attack, uh, it will send the opponent sailing. <laughs> but for whatever reason, uh, my power uh, bash seems to be a little glitched out. Um, if I hold on to the power, or if I hold on to the attack button while I'm blocking, he does a uh, normal bash followed by a power bash instead of just doing the power bash, and I think that's that's causing the perk not to work. But it's pretty amazing when it does. Okay, what's what's coming after me now? Oh, an assassin. Interesting. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> oh, I love that. Looks like you can only do it once per battle, though. Okay, so now we have assassins after us. I wonder, um, wonder who could have sent them after us. Okay, well, once we get the Solitude, we'll take a look at that uh, contract that he had uh, on him. But first, even assassins deserve a proper burial, so that is what we will do. And where did my horse go? <whistles> Apparently Marion is uh, deathly afraid of assassins. I don't really blame her. She's not much of a uh, of a battle horse. I'm sure she wouldn't mind me saying that either. And that's the way Blodius prefers it, actually. It's it's easier to protect 
uh, a person or an animal that uh, has no interest in fighting, because then they'll get in the f mixed up in the fray. This plains area is quite large, and seems to be uh, in the center part of Skyrim. Uh, which makes Blodius wonder why Skyrim is so known for its icy tundra when uh, it's mostly plains. It's interesting. And we got another wolf. I don't think this one's gonna ignore us. Keyboard seems to not be working. Quick save button uh, is not working, and neither is my console. Tilt a button, which is odd. But I don't think I need that for right now. Hopefully not, anyway. Well, it looks like we may have misjudged just how far away Solitude is. It's getting dark. Okay, we got a cow and a wolf. More wolves. Big surprise. Almost got stampeded. So concerning positive-negative value pairs at this point, um, Blodius is still reeling from the loss of his uncle, uh, for which he blames himself largely. Oh, jeez. These wolves really are a plague. I think these wolves are more of a threat to Skyrim than, uh, than dragons at this point, or even the Stormcloaks, or the Thalmor. Really quite a nuisance. Um, yeah, so he's still uh, feeling bad about his uncle being taken away to Blue River Prison. So he's pretty far on the negative scale right now, uh, which is in turn leading him to be uh, highly focused on his goal of um, strengthening the Legion to help exterminate the Thalmor. Uh, what is this up here? It's like a small town. Um, oh man. Is this another Civil War skirmish over Rorikstead? That's interesting. I have not seen this before. Okay, it looks like the Legion has an upper hand here. Let's see what we can do to help them out. Go. Okay. Well done, man. Okay, so I guess we will begin the work of sanctifying these bodies. I don't have the console available, so I can't disable them to give them a proper burial, but we can make sure that they're blessed on their way to Sovngarde or Ethereus or wherever they're going. Hmm. Uh, I have not been here for very long, so I don't know that I would know anybody in Whiterun. Uh oh, do we have more? Okay, well, they didn't last long. Oh, another wolf. Big surprise. 
Okay. So I think that concludes our work here. Uh, we still have some time. I think we can still yet make it to solitude. Um, and as you may have noticed, this isn't the same old uh, Rorikstead that um, you may be familiar with. It's expanded quite a bit. Um, and that is thanks to a mod called Great Cities of Skyrim, the Minor Holds. So this just kind of expands on the, the smaller cities throughout Skyrim, like Rorikstead and um, Dragon's Bridge. Uh, and then the less fleshed out um, sort of major hold areas like um, Morthal, Dawnstar, uh, that kind of thing. Adds a bit of flair, I think. It, it causes uh, my FPS to drop a little bit, but that's okay. I don't really mind. It just me makes things seem bigger and more epic and more fleshed out, and I thought that fit well with um, sort of a heroic legendary warrior, as Blodius might be. Okay. Let's do another quick save here. We're sensing danger. Ah, here we go. What do you got? Get out of here. You too. Get shot in the neck by somebody's arrow. Oh, it looks like it was one of his own uh, gang there. Is anybody else? Oh, yep. Luckily, our armor is thick enough that the arrows won't completely penetrate. <sighs> what was going on here? Well, it looks like they were using this chest here as bait to lure in um, unwary travelers. And then they would uh, hijack them. Now, where did that guy go? Did he fall through the ground? Now yeah, we're getting hungry too. There we go. Uh, let's just see if there's anything of value on these bandits here. There were two over here that we defeated, right? I'm having a ton of trouble trying to find uh, <laughs> dead bodies in this high grass over here. There we go. Has some value to it. And let's go ahead and sanctify these unfortunate souls as well. quick look over here. Oh. He's really hidden, isn't he? Looks like he's got some jewelry. This one seems to be more of the ringleader, judging by his uh, equipment here. Okay. I think we're done here. Seven o'clock.
and we're about halfway. Well, hopefully, Marion's probably getting hungry too. Hopefully, we don't have too many more interruptions. Um, yeah, so Blodius uh, sensed some danger there, and uh, you may have noticed up on the top left of the screen, we got a status update saying that our, uh, I think it was the stamina regeneration has increased. That's part of the Imperius racial overhaul mod. Um, that was a change. Alright, we're just going to see if we can deal with these wolves without getting off the horse. Um, that is a passive racial trait for Imperials. Um, that, uh, regeneration of a random uh, attribute uh, will be triggered uh, upon entering combat. Um, and you may have also seen back in uh, Dragon's Reach um, that 19 out of 20 uh, quests have been fulfilled by the people of Skyrim. Um, and that is the racial quest um, to unlock the uh, special racial uh, ability or uh, greater power of the Imperials. Um, and I think that was Kolovian Star. Uh, and I'll explain that a little more when we get there. Um, but it looks like this is a perfect spot for an ambush, so we're going to go ahead and quick save here and see what's going on up here. Usually we would like to have some backup in a situation like this. Uh, Blodius will make use of followers quite frequently. All right, that's far enough. You know how this works. Toll there is 100 gold. Um, there's no way you're acting in an official capacity. Don't play dumb with me. Pay up, and you walk right through. Refuse, and you'll never see the other side. Okay, so this is a scam. Tell you what, you have one last chance to get out of my way and clear out before I clear you out. Not a chance. Get him, boys. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, I had to um, cut the video just because the game crashed. Because there were uh, too many bandits and not enough bloodiuses. Um but that's okay, we'll work around it. I am also playing at Legendary Difficulty, so uh, these battles tend to be very tense. Uh, Blodius is designed to uh, have followers um, that will help him in these battles, but he does not have one right now since he's new to Skyrim and he left Artocto back at Bruma. Um, seems to be a fairly safe spot, so... Uh, yeah, one happy side effect of crashing was that when I came back up, my, um, my quick save and keyboard is working again, so that's good. Um, now, how are we going to do this? Let's see, we got to get close. Just keep our shield up, I guess. And what am I stuck on now? Uh, okay, good. <laughs> Great. archers. Um, now I do have uh, the perk in the block tree for ordinator that says um, that if I have my shield raised um, projectiles do like half damage or, or some other percentage. Um, 
So as long as I go in there with my shield raised, I'm not going to take a ton of damage from these arrows. can also get timed blocks that count toward um, a timing streak that will stagger everybody. Why won't you jump? Okay, here we go. Heal up. Now the difficulty that we're on is going to force us to be tactical about this stuff. Where did he get a bow and arrow? How come he wasn't wielding that before? He's doing a really good job of missing our shield, isn't he? out of the way. Alright, that magic user. Um, we're also running the perk. Uh, I think it's called Apocalypse Proof. How about another quick save here? Actually, probably better in a safer area. Um, it's called Apocalypse Proof. If I can get a timed block on uh, spells, it will uh, completely nullify all that spell damage. Just like that. But I need the timed block, which means I can't keep my shield up to deal with the arrows coming at me if I'm trying to time block the fire bolts coming at me. Oh my god. I don't know why my quick reflexes did. Oh. <laughs> oh, it gets uh gets hectic. We'll get through this though. The pride that I will feel from getting through this will be worth the price of admission of the difficulty that I'm playing at, I think. Usually is. Okay, the initial instigator is gone. Let's uh, let's get clear of this mage here. Yeah, that mage is a problem, isn't he? Um. Okay. Might go around the other way. Well, okay, if I can funnel him through this area here, might give us less to have to deal with. Unlocked here. Okay, there we go. Who's next? Be mindful of our stamina here. Okay, and I think that all we have to deal with now is the bandit chief in the uh, in the hut over there to the right. Someone there? Oh yeah. Stamina regen will help. Where is he? There he is. Oh wow! That was insane. <laughs> oh. All he took was one hit to trigger a uh, trigger a kill move on us. That was nutty. Huh? 
Where are you, you punk? What else you got? Oh my gosh, <laughs> that guy is super powerful. He got us with one hit with that elven dagger and we went down. Oh, okay, we can do this, we can do this. Um, before we go in though, do we have any potions here that will help us out? Uh, let's see, resist magic maybe in case he's wielding something magic. Uh, Drought of the Warrior, which will help us with our one-handed damage. Strength. Warrior, we already have one of those. Vigor, stamina generates enhanced stamina, why not? Nothing for block or heavy armor. That is too bad. All right, well, that looks like about it, I think. Just have our potions handy. Another quick save after we've gotten all that stuff taken care of. All right, what do you got? Is someone there? Okay, we're doing some more damage. Oh boy, all right. <laughs> one hit with that dagger. Oh my gosh, this is one tough enemy. We're going to have to fully heal to... Um, uh, mitigate those injuries. Oh boy, quick save right now before anything else happens. Wowzers. Alright. Well, we were able to disarm him, which helped, but man, that elven dagger was almost worse than the, than the war axe he was swinging at us. Looks like he's got some decent, uh, decent equipment. Archery, eh. What else do we have in here? Some spell books. Not really useful to us, but... We can sell it anyway. Okay, we'll head down there in a minute. Um, <clears throat> let's just do a sweep of this area, see if we can find any more stolen goods. I was going to say, there's usually a shield sitting over here somewhere, but I, for whatever reason, that model isn't, isn't showing up. Is this a problem with a uh, load order or something? Heavy painted round shield. No, it's working. Skyrim glitchiness. Gotta love it. Okay, any more bandits around here? Got one down here. Uh, I tend to pick up anything that is... Um, oh, and we need our horse, too. 
that has a value to weight ratio of uh, 10 or more. That seems to be worth our time and encumbrance. Um, we don't have a follower, but we do have a horse that can hold all kinds of stuff for us, so... Um, hmm. Interesting. Looks like Convenient Horses is bugging out on me. I can't seem to uh, store stuff in the horse. Well, I can ride the horse even though I'm encumbered. So there's that, at least. Who else do we have out here? I think we killed somebody out over this way. Yes, we did. I think I have a potion of strength in here. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Very good, very good. And the instigator. With the fancy arrows. And the mage. Got a fancy staff on him, too. All right, um, now we are in a place where we do have to drop something. I guess we're going to have to drop this, well, no. Yeah, okay, so we do still have the uh, Imperial Armor to um, present with the powers that be in the Legion, so I don't think we need the armor and the sword. Um, and that was just to um, to bring proof of sort of a collapse in um, uh, over at Fort Kragstad, was that? Fort Newgrad, over on our way to uh, Riverwood from, from Bruma. We may yet get the opportunity to um, to retake that fort. Oh, jeez. Poor horse. In fact, let's try to heal this guy. Are you running away from something or running towards something? <laughs> Apparently he doesn't like to be healed. It's alright, it's alright. I gotcha. Okay, so it is getting late now, let's see. We may have to just stop in Dragon's Bridge on the way. Uh, if it gets too late, it's almost 9 o'clock, yeah. So, we may not make it to Solitude on this journey. Um, but yeah, you'll see Blodius uh, stop and sort of take care of threats on the road. Um, he doesn't like to leave them um, leave them intact to where they can hurt other travelers. So if there are things like that, um, like uh, uh, highwaymen extorting tolls from people, and threatening to kill them if they can't pay. You speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. That's fair. Um, so you're a vigilant of Stendar? Yes. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. 
We're quartered in the hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. Well, that sounds like a noble pursuit. So you hunt Daedra, then? And any other abominations that prey on mortals? Vampires, werewolves, witches? But Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. Okay, so Blodius hasn't, um, hasn't really paid too much attention in school. He was daydreaming about becoming a, a guard or a, or a knight or a soldier the whole time. So he's going to ask more information on Stendar. He is the God of Mercy, the patron of order and justice for all of Tamriel. We bring his compassion where none can be found by cleansing all those who would offend his children. Oh... Uh. Plotius is not very educated, but that seems a little oxymoronic. Um, a noble pursuit, but that aligns with his own goals and sensibilities, but uh, bringing mercy by hunting down people who don't uh, adhere to your vision of how the world should be? They are profane creatures with no hope of redemption. They lure innocents to their deaths and corrupt the souls of all they touch. And their heretical artifacts grant powers to mortals that wreak havoc across Tamriel. They must be destroyed or guarded to prevent temptation. Okay. Well, we don't know much about the Daedra yet, so we're going to have to take... None escape the vigil. All come into the light. All right. Well, be safe. Um, yeah, Blodius hasn't had much experience with any Daedra, so he's just going to take that explanation or description at face value. Um, still. Something to look f uh, look out for, I suppose. Oh, and what happened here? Journal. Alright, we're not going to loot their supplies, but we'll read the journal once we get to, to an inn somewhere here. Got to get this uh, convenient horses thing figured out. I wonder if I just haven't... haven't completed that far in the quest yet. Okay, uh, it looks like we're coming upon Dragon's Bridge now, and this is one of the uh, cities or little towns that was expanded by um, the great cities of Tamriel. Or whatever that mod is called. <laughs> uh, this one, uh, I think, benefits uh, quite a lot. Uh, it's one of the best overhauls, in my opinion, in that in that mod. Um, it actually looks great. It looks more like um, uh, a satellite city of solitude than it did before, in my opinion, anyway. Let's find a place to park our horse. Looks like over here is out of the way enough. And our potion is worn off. Um, I think this mod actually adds uh, a blacksmith, so we will be able to sell off some of our loot here. Um, but first, I think... We'll head into the inn, have some dinner, get some rest, and uh, pick up in the morning. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Excellent. I think we've already eaten, but let's just uh, top off on the food here while we can.
Some soup. That's about it, huh? Can I help you? Orenius Silas. Tell me, traveler. Do you have any regrets? Of course you do. We all do. They say regrets are the foundation of wisdom. For if we do not regret our mistakes, we are damned to repeat them. Our successes, meanwhile, need not to be remembered, for they only serve to bolster our temerity. That is why a general is haunted not by his victories in the battlefield, but those that slip from his grasp. <laughs> okay, this is one of the uh, NPCs added by interesting NPCs. Yes, actually, I know what you talk about. It sounds bleak, but um, yeah. My regrets haunt me every day, and I vow not to repeat them. That is the way we are meant to live. Always stumbling forward, looking back only to see how far we've come. For some things, such a task is simple. A hastily written report, a tactless reply, a spilled drink. For others, the tendrils run deeper, rooting your body in the earth. There is no way forward. Not until you free yourself of the memory. Not until you make things right. So, what exactly is it that you regret? The thief. The one that got away. An Imperial woman, based on the reports. The lone operative. She's burglarized homes of a number of notable lords, thanes, and nobles. At times, she's even ransomed their children. Jeez. She's outfoxed the city guards, evaded the Oculatus, and even managed to wrangle prominent members of the Thieves' Guild. Okay. Um, so why hasn't there been more of an effort to catch her? Unfortunately, the resources of the Empire exhausted in tracking her down force the the Council to suspend all pursuit. Given the state of the Imperial coffers, it was cheaper to let her run free and compensate the grief for their losses. Only I remain dedicated to the cause of justice. And what I lack in many resources, I make up for in will. I've chased her across Tamriel for the last 15 years. And I believe I'm closer than ever to catching her. Hmm. Well, with the, um heartache and, and the chaos that she's uh, sown, I, I, I kind of am of the opinion that the Executioner's ask, Axe is too good for the likes of these people. I'm not sure anyone would even bother. Too busy chopping off the heads of elderly Talos worshippers to care about Tamriel's most celebrated thief. If I hadn't retired, they would still have me raid the chest of every Nord who wore a beard that resembled Tiber Septim. Okay, well, we don't really have time at the moment to go chasing after this thief. Um, any last advice for a traveler? Life is easy when your goals are small. When your goals are large, the problem comes not from failure, but from your inability to cope with it. Whether you reach for the stars or plow the earth, don't let the task consume you. If only I could take Thank such sage advice. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Okay, well, it was good talking to you, Arrhenius. Safe travels. Um, okay, so I don't know how far-sighted uh, Blodius is capable of being right now. He's not able to see past his regret for um, letting the Thalmor take Adius, but um, I don't know that he would. Uh, he would look at. Uh, Orenius and um, and be able to get a glimpse of his own future in that um, certainly Blodius is uh, has the intelligence capable to see the similarities between himself and Orenius but um, I don't know that he would even allow himself to think that far in ahead when things yes. still need doing Quite a talented loot player, huh? Another one added by uh, interesting NPCs. Complete with the music and everything. 
such an impressive mod. I can't believe I, I went so far with uh, so long without it playing SE. All right, well we're not going to interrupt him while he plays. Okay, well let's go ahead and get a room. Um, we'll bed for the night, and in the morning we'll sell off some of our loot and head to Solitude. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. Something different about you. I can tell. Hope you ain't here to cause trouble. No, no. On the contrary, I'm, I'm hoping to prevent it or solve it. Uh, first off, I think I need some more water, if you don't mind. Of course. And I would like to rent a room for the evening, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Well, I would prefer to have a door and a little more privacy, I but I suppose it'll do. Uh, hello. Something on your mind? You, tell me, do you think I'm attractive? No, oh, brother. Um. Sure. Uh, why not? Thank you. I suspected as much, which makes it all the more confusing why Nelos ignores me for that horse of a high elf. It must be out of pity or hunger. I've always said her nose reminds me of a giant turnip. Okay. Well, I don't care to talk uh, about people's appearances behind their back, but, um... So what brings you to Dragonbridge? When the guild I belonged to last met, Nelos instructed us to refrain from contact for the time being. I suspected this might be some clever attempt for him and Alduin to escape on some tryst, which neither I nor the laws of decency could abide by. So I followed Nelos to Harfinger, but only got as far as Dragonbridge before I lost track of him. I wait here now in hopes that he might return, and in fear that she will be with him when he does. Elderwin. Hmm. Anyway. Sounds like you are love-struck for somebody who doesn't share your affections. Uh, that's a terrible curse to have upon you. Uh, anyway. It is time for bed. Six hours since we departed from Whiterun, and we still have not made it to Solitude. I blame all the wolves. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep for eight hours. <coughs> Block and heavy armor are our chosen specialties for the time being. Yes. Sounds like we're hungry and thirsty again. So let's stand by the fire and try to fill up. Wow, he's good at the flute, too. Alright. Quite the bard. Let's see, what do we have to eat? Cheese and grapes. That did it. And there we go. Okay, so this episode went a little longer than I wanted or expected, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here, um, and I will rejoin you next time when we will hopefully finally make it to Solitude and, and figure out what to do about joining the Legion here. <clears throat> okay, so that's it for me for now. Um, thank you for watching, and until next, next time, take care, and see ya. Bye.